the olfactory nerve. This nerve has the shortest tract. The olfactory bulb is located inferior to the frontal lobes. It pierces the thin cripriform plate of the ethmoid bone to reach the nasal olfactory mucosa. This is a purely sensory nerve. To examine for olfaction, you need to ask the patient to smell a familiar substance. Firstly, this is to establish whether they can smell it at all, and secondly, to see if they can identify different smells. I'd like you to block one of your nostrils with your finger, first of all, and I'd like you to tell me if you can identify this smell. Chocolate. Okay. Now, again, I'd like you to tell me what this is. Soapy. And now this one, block your nostril again. Vanilla. Good. Now I'd like you to block the other side and we'll repeat the same test, yeah? Use familiar and gentle substances such as vanilla, coffee or soap. Harsh or noxious smells may cause irritation and may lead to inappropriate perception. Test each nostril in turn by asking them to block the other nostril. As well as testing for olfaction, you may also need to examine the nasal passages with the rhinoscope or your diagnostic kit. Check the nasal mucosa for inflammation, discharge and obstructions like polyps or tumors. Functioning of the olfactory nerve may be affected, for instance, by head injuries, sinus problems or in senile anosmia. If unilateral, consider a blocked nostril or frontal lesions. Remember that temporary loss of smell often follows a viral infection and in some cases recovery may be slow or even incomplete. Also consider Parkinson's disease.